This is just a short uh, video to show you some of the properties of a piezoelectric ceramic material. In this case, I have a sample, a small disc of piezoelectric ceramic. It's the uh, dirty silver colored disc, and it's bonded to a brass disc. You can buy these uh, for uh, a very low price in many outlets. Uh, they're called um, piezo buzzer discs in, in some cases. At any rate, it's a piece of piezoelectric ceramic, very thin disc shape, bonded on one side to a, a piece of brass. And I'm going to connect it to a voltmeter by setting the disc on one thin brass sheet that's connected to the negative lead of the voltmeter. And I'm going to connect the upper surface of the disc through this uh, brass rod into the positive lead of the voltmeter. What I'm going to do now is press downward on this brass disc and watch the voltmeter reading. See it goes positive and then it swings negative as I release the pressure. So I'm going to apply pressure and then release pressure. When I apply pressure you'll see the voltage swing positive. When I release you'll see it swing back negative. Okay, so I'm going to apply and release. Apply and release. Apply and release. And you can see I'm getting about two or three volts with this uh, small amount of pressure. Another aspect of the disc I'd like to illustrate is the fact that piezoelectric ceramics and in fact all ferroelectric materials are pyroelectric which means that they respond to heat. If I raise the temperature I also generate a voltage and I'm going to do that with this hair dryer just to convince you that it's not the sound of the hair dryer that's doing it I'm going to turn on the hair dryer point it away from the disc and then I'm going to rotate it toward the disc and watch the voltmeter as I rotate toward the disc and away from the disc Rotating toward the disc, rotating away from the disc, toward the disc, away from the disc. So here we have a voltage produced by heating of the material. And notice that the polarity was negative. The voltage produced was negative. This is a very nice test of a ceramic material. If you don't know which direction the polarization vector is, connect a voltmeter to it heat up the material, and if you create a positive voltage, that means that the polarization vector is in the direction that you've connected the electrodes from negative to positive. If it's negative, as in this case, it means that the polarization vector is in the opposite direction, in this case from the positive down to the negative electrode. So those are just two of the uh, features of piezoelectric ceramics. We see the voltage produced by an applied pressure, and we see the voltage produced by a temperature change. Thank you.